Hello again, I am Blunty. So, Patreon. I'm putting one up today, and that's what this video is going to be about in general, but I wanted to break down a few bits and pieces about my thought processes, why, when, how, wherefore, forsooth. Drifted off the topic already. That was quick. Ding, ding. While Blunty's train of thought takes this brief respite at the side of the road, trains don't use roads, I've gone off again. Would you mind hitting that subscribe button? Hit the bell so you get first to be notified. Notification squad, shout out. So where was I? Patreon, right. Late to the party on this, or oh, what? Very late to the party on this. The people from Patreon actually approached me many years ago, 2014, 15, I think, just like a year or two after they launched when they were still trying to find their feet and sort of gather a, a community of, of, of creators and users and stuff. And quite frankly, uh, the, the language they used in the email they approached me seemed very pretentious and kind of wankery and kind of turned me off because I'm a very kind of down-to-earth dude. Very Australian of me, I know. But I told them to bugger off because it just sounded com like complete wank. I, I may have been slightly short-sighted on that one. But I did resist setting up a Patreon for a very long time, despite being in a situation where I could have really used a little bit extra money coming in from another direction, because <laughs> YouTube. But I did resist it because it felt like asking people to give me money because I'm already making stuff that they can see for free, I, it it never made a lot of sense to me. It always made me feel a bit weird, just saying, "Hey, that stuff you're already watching for free, can you can you um can you can you just can you uh uh?" But that said, uh, several years now of being on Twitch with my much smaller community over there, my my small but wonderful wonderful supportive community over on Twitch. I enjoy streaming very much, even though it's a much bigger audience here than over there. It's a very different kind of thing we do. But but doing that Twitch thing has taught me a lot of people out there are kinder and more generous and more eager to help support creators they enjoy than I would have ever given them credit for. Uh, that's the misanthrope in me, I suppose. Add to that the fact I have had people come to me uh, uh, at sort of events or in emails or even in, in, in comments saying, oh, do you have a Patreon? I'd like to give you extra money because I enjoy what you do so much. And people are asking me for ways to give me money. And I've just been, nah, I'm not going to bother with that. Because I don't know. And one of the things was, was I didn't know if I had enough extra value to make it worth your time. I didn't want to just have the patron there and go, oh, just give me money because you're watching stuff for free anyway. Just give me, I, I felt like there needed to be something, an extra value there somewhere. And I couldn't figure out what I wanted that to be without creating way too much work for myself, which would defeat the entire purpose because time is money. And if I'm working extra hard to get a small amount of extra money, uh, the, where the, you've got to balance that. There's no point doing a whole bunch of extra work for Patreon stuff if Patreon, the stuff, you know, the money coming in from that isn't making that worth the time. And how much time does that take away from the regular content I need to make or I want to make to give away for free? It, it was a very, it, it was math I didn't want to do. But again, as we all know, creators and viewers alike, YouTube has become an increasingly volatile place to try and be a creator as a living. Uh, a lot of us are getting ever more stressed out about the uncertainty. Any given moment, you know, some jackass could show a dead body in a forest somewhere and all of a sudden we have another apocalypse. So between what I've learned in recent years doing stuff like Twitch and between the fact that people ask me about it often enough, uh, between the volatility of YouTube, I've decided to give the Patreon thing a whirl to see how it goes. Worst case scenario, it just doesn't work for me. My audience doesn't respond to it well enough or you guys don't think the rewards are worth it and then we readjust or I sort of just cancel it out completely in, you know, a year's time. I give it a year year, it doesn't work. Oh, well, we tried. I had a feeling it wouldn't work. Oh, well. Best case scenario, it works really well, and I spend a lot less time worrying about how I'm going to pay rent this month. But first things first, I had rules when I set this up. Rule number one was do not paywall content you are already giving away for free. Kind of the entire point of Patreon is for, to give people the opportunity to support creators already doing what they love doing. They just have the means and opportunity and desire 
to throw a little extra support that way as, as an appreciation. And the fact is, after everything I said in the opening of this video, being feeling, feeling weirded out about it at this end, I do in fact uh, uh, patronize, is that the word? Uh, I do in fact support a couple of other people on Patreon. So doing, so doing that myself to other people who is just, so when I was thinking about what sort of little extra value perks to put on the Patreon, and these aren't, this is not extra content for me. I mean, it's, it's, it's stuff that I have sitting around not being used and it does cr you know create a little extra work putting it together in a format to present and then share and upload and things like that but hopefully the extra work it is 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 you know it hits the right balance between payoff and extra work and time and income it mostly revolves around content that i have actually already made but either you know ignore or neglect or never bothered using stuff like outtakes and bloopers and whole chunks of video that I, I often do, especially with videos that I don't have a script for. I often ramble on in huge chunks about sort of some sidetrack uh, and I'll just cut that out of the video because the video was going way too long otherwise and that was just distracting from the main point. You know, that sort of stuff could be interesting for some people to view. Oh, that was related to this in this video, but it never made it into the video. I, you know, you'd watch the sidetrack separately as a sidetrack, as it were. And things like behind the scenes stuff, little clips of behind the scenes, what I'm doing or photos of, of stuff I'm in doing or what, you know, stuff is coming up next, you know, having a sneak peek at the products I'm testing out for future reviews and things like that. All that could be interesting as little bonuses, little thank yous, little uh, tips of the hat to people who do go that extra mile for support. Not sort of brand new bespoke content as such, not a whole lot of extra work for me, but for people passionate enough to want to give me extra money, they're probably interested in that stuff anyway. Am I right? Am I wrong? I'm here to ask you. So doing it this way helps supplement, you know, the normal uh, uh, channels of income uh, while also not creating extra work for me, while also hopefully creating some extra value for you who do go the extra mile. So I'm, I'm really hoping I can find the right balance here. And I'm happy to sort of slide things about and evolve as we go. Nothing's set in stone here, but I think, I hope, I've, I've selected a nice place to start off at. I've even sort of created a tier for kind of many sponsor spots sort of targeted at brands and stuff who may not want to buy an entire, uh, you know, pre-roll ad chunk, which I don't really do anyway. I always, I'll usually either do an entire sponsored video or nothing. You know, those people who go, oh, but, but first a word from our sponsors and they spend sort of 30 to 90 seconds talking about Raid Shadow Legends or whatever. Well, this is kind of a mini version of that. There's just going to be a sort of a, a little, a little tiny sliver of the video right in the opening or within the first 90 seconds, uh, just saying, well, by the way, thank you for the support, this brand, this brand. And no idea if I got the pricing on that set correctly or appropriately. No idea if anyone's going to take me up on that. But again, we'll see. It was an idea I had. I thought, bugger it, might as well try. Who knows? This video was intended to be, according to my notes, I had a few little bullet points here and I thought, eh, it'll be like three minutes, three minutes, 30 seconds tops. How did we do? How long have we gone? How long have I rambled? I don't know. We'll see how it edits down. But thank you for your uh, your eyeball time uh, and a special thank you to anyone sort of brave enough to dip their toe into day one of the Patreon. One other thing, I don't I don't have a sort of a dollar tier. I did have a $2 tier when I was setting this up and I'm thinking, eh, meh, meh, but the money Patreon sort of take, they're, they're a slice of the cake, plus the slice of cake that, you know, PayPal would take during the payment process makes that tier almost valueless. So I, I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. I know some creators say don't do it. Uh, Patreon themselves say don't bother with those low end tier things because people would normally choose the lowest tier or the highest tier and ignore the ones in the middle anyway. So if you give them a dollar option, you might not get the five dollar option. And I don't know how I feel about all that. It was just sort of a Maybe I'll put one back in. I don't know. Again, we'll see how things go. Your feedback in the down below area. Uh, what do you reckon? Take a look. Come back. Tell me what you reckon. We might, we might shift some goalposts around, but uh, we'll see how we go for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Blunty. We'll catch you next time. And thank you. Whatever your level of support, whether it's just turning up to the video and watching it all the way through, leaving a comment, subscribing, ringing the bell, coming along to the Twitch streams, or whether you go above and beyond and actually give me money through the, the tip jar on the Twitch or indeed now on the Patreon thing. So, still makes me feel a bit weird. I've got to be nice with you.